Steve Austin studied coal for his uh, PhD dissertation. Mm -hmm. uh, and looking at it in a microscope, he could identify plant parts in the coal, specifically bark in the coal. So okay. the question is, why what's, what's is coal made yeah. of bark? Mm -hmm. And the idea is we've got these logs. Uh, ultimately, what Steve did was propose that there was a log mat floating on a body of water. Mm -hmm. Logs are floating on the surface. And they're lycopod logs. They're logs that are of trees that are hollow. They've got bark, but they okay. do not have any internal secondary right. wood. While they're floating on the water, they roll against one another, peeling the bark mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. The bark gets waterlogged and falls down to the bottom. So as the water, as the uh, log mat floats about, it drops this layer of bark. Depositing of bark all around where it's floating. So it could float out of that area and deposit bark someplace uh -huh. else. But what that allows is if you already have a flat surface, the bark falls on a flat surface producing a flat bottom to that pile of uh -huh. bark. And then when the, the log mat floats out of that region, it leaves a flat top on the pile of bark. Mm -hmm. Then later the bark can be coalified into coal. And that would explain the coal seams. The fact that they're made of layers of bark, of mm -hmm. pieces of bark, the fact that they're flat topped and flat bottomed. Yeah. And those are difficult, actually basically impossible to explain any other way.